Hello Z-Bird and welcome back to Pokemon Quest and today we are gonna get ourselves a bunch of stuff. I have a lot of cool things planned for today's episode. First off, we have ourselves a level 42 Ekans, which is always nice to have. I'll probably put him into our uh, Arbok because you know we just already have that and that was a decently high level our Arbok so maybe we could get him even higher which would be great. We have 200 tickets which we really don't need that much of. I think that we only have one more decoration left to buy. It's the Meowth Balloon which um, increases the number of ingredients you get from recycling and that should be every decoration in the game unlocked now. If we go through every single thing as you can see I think we've gotten all of it and we have 540 tickets left over. So what will I use with those? Hmm, maybe some Pokemon and stone box expansions, maybe speeding up cooking pots, you name it, we'll probably do it. Seeing so, you know, how we get 200 tickets a day at this rate, we're probably gonna be able to get just about anything we need. So very awesome stuff. I'm also gonna go ahead and open up some cooking pots and then after all this, I plan on leveling up our Eevee. Ooh, is that an Nidoran? Maybe, I think that was Nidoran, and then the other thing that I always forget the name of. Uh, yeah, okay, so it was Nidoran. Very awesome, level 90. What does this move here? Flatter, dark. The user flatters enemies in front of itself, which confuses them, but raises the amount of damage they deal and reduces the amount of damage they take. What? The user flatters enemies in front of itself. Okay. So the enemy's gonna be doing more damage and reduce the damage they take? Doesn't that make them stronger? Or am I misreading that? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a very good move at all. And then we got this guy, Rhydon, I think? Rhyhorn, that's what it is. So uh, we've gotten Rhyhorns in the past. I don't know if I really need Iron Tail. It's not really my favorite move. So we, we'll probably use you for level up training as well. So definitely, I'm excited about that Nidoran though. We can use that for evolution, it'll be awesome. We have a yellow curry over this way, but I'm glad we got two Pokemon to start things off. Only one this time, but it's gonna be the Abra, which we can put into our Alakazam. Always good to see. What moves do you have though? Nothing crazy. I mean, I might want to use you for move training instead. We'll have to wait, because I don't really know what uh, moves. Uh, Alakazam currently has. And then we get a mouth-watering dip out of cube for water type Pokemon. What does this have? Oh, hey, look at that, it's a horsey. So we already have a Seedra, but we can level it up a little bit more. That would be awesome. There's the horsey, and you actually are looking very similar to our current. Yeah, you have Twister, and then you have Whirlpool. I'm pretty sure that's what the Seedra has, so we'll have to compare the bingo bonuses to see which one's better. And then finally, our fourth golden cooking pot has a mud pie, so probably just an onyx. Apparently it's, you know, it's either gonna be a, a couple of ground Pokemon that we have all of at this rate, so nothing too exciting there. But as you can see, we got ourselves a Diglett, level 71. I mean, we already have a level 100 Diglett. So I don't know how crazy that's really gonna be for us, but uh, we're gonna upgrade this to gold. And we're gonna get back to it. We're just gonna keep on loading stuff up into these. And I could speed some of them up if I wanted to, but I might hold on for later because what I really wanna do right now is I wanna go ahead and try to level up that Eevee I was talking about. We have two Eevees at this point. And some of you were saying it depends on the stats of the Eevee. Some people were saying it depends on what Power Stones the Eevee has equipped will determine what it evolves into. So I figured what we would do is for our first of two Eevees, I would just make it so that she has um, no Power Stones when she levels up. Hopefully that'll be possible. <laughs> um, after we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to level up or do the other Eevee and try to get her to level up when uh, she has like all damage stones or something and just sort of see what we end up getting. Let's experiment a little, you know? So that being said, if we take a look at our challenge here, looks like we got ourselves some extra tickets, some extra big roots, which is always helpful. I'm always running low on those. They're like my most desired material, except for rainbow shells at the moment. Okay, that's pretty good. Making our way through all these challenges a little bit more. And let's go back. Let's see what else we can do. I think that's about it for everything here. So if I wanted to mix with my team a little bit, um, I think the best thing I could do is try the Magneton. Also, you guys were begging me to check out Starmie, um, a Pokemon we just recently Evolved a little bit, I think. Yeah, right here. Some people were saying that if I could get, I think it was like Water Burst or something on Starmie, that's really good. Right now we have Twister, so if maybe we could eventually get more um, of the previous evolution of this Pokemon, we can, you know, move train and get something different besides Twister, but a lot of people saying Starmie was a really, really good Pokemon to get in this game, so glad I have him. <laughs> Sounds great to me. We also got a Tentacool from one of the dailies in the, in the area, you know what I mean. So yeah. I could try to level up train with something like the the Rhyhorn, the Rhyhorn. Um, 
or with the Abra or something like that, especially like the Diglett. The Diglett's level 71, we already have a level 100 Diglett. So you know what? We'll probably use a Diglett and see what ends up happening. Can we just straight up, you know, level up this Eevee to something a little bit more desirable? What level is she right now? Level 93, oh yeah, perfect. So we can go ahead and do this and we can do that. Oh, that didn't even get you. Really? <laughs> that's nothing. I understand because it's like they don't have the same typing, but like that's so much more little than I thought it would be. I don't know what to do then. Will any of these really get you any farther? Man, that's disappointing. But we do have a different Eevee, if I can find that one. Much lower level on that one, but probably close enough still to be evolved, so I wanna check it out. If we take a look, where is that other Eevee? Right here, you are level 18, much lower level. Now the, the worry is that I'm gonna level up train you and it might not get you to an evolved state, but as you can see, this Eevee is just 188 health, 199 attack, has no power charms equipped at all, but that's okay, that's what we want. Um, so let's give this a shot and see what ends up happening. I don't really care too much about you know like the results, as long as maybe we get something cool out of it. So get you all the way to level 26, and will that get you an evolution? I don't think, I don't know what level uh, Eevee is supposed to evolve, but it's not level 26. So we'll have to keep working on that. We could dumping like a Rhyhorn or an Ekans or something. I do for now wanna work on the Tentacool here. This Tentacool is level 48, and then I, a long, long time ago, I think, yeah, the first Pokemon I found out of a cooking pot was a Tentacool as well. So I wanna look at both of these, see what their moves are, see what their bingo bonuses are, and sort of balance that out a little bit. As you can see, you have Sludge Bomb and Barrier, which are two weird choices for a water type. And then water type moves weight minus 5%, resistance to negative effects plus 30, resistance to negative effects plus 50. So you're very resistant, but I don't really see you as being a tanky kind of Pokemon, maybe I'm, I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. But if we take a look at Tentacool here, what is this, I mean, the other Tentacool, he just has Sludge Bomb. But if we could change it into a water type move, maybe we can make him very powerful. Um, and if we take a look at this, water types moves weight, so basically it sort of flipped where he isn't as resistance, but he has minus 25% water type moves weight. So I think that'd be really good. I think we're gonna keep the higher level one and this should evolve him. I don't know if it'll evolve him to his max evolution, because he's only getting one level out of it, but he'll, he should be able to evolve once, because I think it goes Tentacool, Tentacool, and then like something else, maybe not. Well, we're about to find out. Tentacool is evolving. What is it gonna turn into? We're all about to find out. It is the Tentacool. This guy is weird looking in this blocky 3D form, but there we go. One more for the Pokedex. How awesome is that? Level 49 Tentacruel. Wow, I like this. This little icon form looks really awesome. The other thing was the two horsies. So we have a level 97 horsey, and then somewhere around here we should have a Seedra. And I believe they have some really similar moves. So I wanna check that out and sort of see what goes on. Um, so you, the Seedra, has a Whirlpool and Twister, which is exactly what the other one has. And as if we take a look at this, uh, you have critical hit damage plus 10%, attack of water type moves plus 10%, and water type moves weight minus 15. That isn't too bad. I think that's a decent spread of stuff, but does the other higher level uh, horsey have anything must have, you know? Because I think her skill slots are exactly the same with the Whirlpool and the Twister, yep. So it's all about the bingo bonuses. Water type moves weight, critical hit damage, and then plus 600 attack. That might be better because keep in mind, her, his, her, whatever it is, uh, main offense is this dragon type twister right now. So I think we'll actually keep with that because I like the twister move. So you know what? I think we're gonna keep with the higher level horsey. I'm so sorry, Cedra, but it's your time. We gotta go ahead and train this up level 99. So you'll be pretty close to having all 10 power turns, all nine of them. Yeah, we'll be as close as you can get without getting it. So there we go. And you should evolve into that uh, Cedra, which is very awesome. Let's go ahead and check that out. As you can see, we get the Seedra. Now, I don't think the Seedra evolves again, but we can get one more level with you. And then, you know, if you do evolve again, you will evolve again. So, very cool, powerful Seedra is always exciting. Now, we still have a couple of other things I'm still looking into. Just trying to find a good balance with everything, you know? Um, I don't always wanna take all the time in the world to figure it out right now, because we, like, we have this slow bro, and we have a slow poke level 90, and that might be worth our while, but at the same time, I'm, not, I'm just not really sure. So we're gonna dive into it later. I think we're gonna worry about other things for now, like probably setting up a team that has whatever Eevee we want, so I think we wanna get the lower level Eevee, because she's still closer to being leveled up. 
So that was over this way, as you can see, level 26 now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her on our team and just try to figure that out. And yeah, that should be pretty good. I'll probably just put her over Magneton and do a easier level, probably even something out of world 12, maybe in like world 10 or nine or something. I thought like that'd be a little bit easier. We're gonna find out together. <laughs> And once she gets a level up, maybe she'll evolve, maybe she'll need a lot more work. We'll have to sort of wait and see together. Oh, thank you for enjoying Pokemon Quest. Here's a gift of 500 PM tickets. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks. Look at that, a thousand of them. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I just played the game. Did you guys get that? Let me know if, you, if you've been playing recently, you just got 500 free PM tickets for no reason. That's weird. I don't know what that's about. Anyways, just trying to take a look at everything. I'm thinking that you know, we could try 12-1. It probably won't work out. I gotta recycle some stuff. Actually, you know what? I probably should have expended my box. I have a thousand tickets. Also, what moves do you have? You have charm. Uh, the user makes the surrounding enemies less wary with its cute behavior, often reducing the amount of damage they deal. Cool. And then dig, which isn't too exciting. I don't really care too much about their moves right now. We can always change those later. I just want to get the Pokédex a little bit more, you know? I need to get rid of some of these stuff back here. I know it has like some hit healing for that one, but I don't think it's as worth it. When it's, it's less than 600, it definitely is sort of not in our range of effectiveness at this point. Yeah, the amount of like just pure stats we're losing out on becomes a bit more risky, so. We'll try with this. We'll see what ends up happening. Hopefully it's a good time and we can level up the Eevee. That would be fun. I mean, it's 12-1, which we usually have an okay time. I do have to complain though. I've been trying to train up, of course, between episodes because obviously that's gonna be helpful. And I ran into Articuno not once, not twice, but three times and beat him all three times. And guess who didn't get a single rainbow shell? Me, I was like, what the heck? So I don't really know what determines when you, whether you get a rainbow shell or not. I thought it was just having a round where there's a legendary Pokemon. But I've now defeated Articuno three times and just didn't get it. So, I mean, we got them with the, the fire legendary Pokemon. So I don't know what the dealio is here. It's super disappointing. So hopefully that, you know, changes eventually. Let's go ahead and see if we can't beat some guys up as Eevee. I don't think it's gonna happen too much. I'm so sorry, Eevee. We're gonna have a hard time for now. Come on, come on, come on. Ready? Luckily, you know, Venusaur here is so powerful, we don't have to worry about it so much. If Eevee could just like land a charm or two on the boss, that'd be pretty helpful. But we're like pretty, pretty well handling this just with what we got. Like, oh my gosh, Vine Whip is beautiful. Let's go ahead and get that a little bit. That is such a powerful move. I love it so much. I've been using it so much. It's so helpful. I mean, at this point, rate, if we just keep on training a Venusaur, get him to level 100, that's gonna help us big time with just simply getting, okay, okay, here's the boss already. That's gonna help us big time with just getting past World 12, maybe even finally completing it. That's still gonna take a while. Okay, so I don't think the charm's working uh, from this distance. I don't think it's like, you know, uh, global, I guess you could say. Okay, so I don't know if that's actually landing on anybody, but we should be able to just face off the boss. We have a full three minutes to defeat this guy. I think we'll be okay, because all that really needs to happen is we need to get rid of his little friends, and then we can just focus on him. As long as we can land that occasionally, which we did land it there, which is hard to tell. Come on, come on, ready, set, boom. Yeah, that gets rid of like a, like a probably like an eighth of his health every time we land that. We'll be able to land that a good couple more times. Oh, that was a good one too. I don't know if that was critical, but it just did a lot of damage. Come on, come on. Oh, and there we go. It's basically a two person team with Eevee being so low level with this, but it still worked out super amazing. I love Venusaur right now. So there we go, we got two power stones and 90 material. And as you can see, that means you get to level 27, 28, 30, nice, okay. So we're about to find out what level it is that Eevee evolves uh, as long as we keep doing this. So we got you four levels right there. So hopefully we can get another two, three, four levels if we try this again, so let's get to it. But also, I feel like I need to spend these a thousand tickets, right? I don't wanna spend them on the cooking pots because I wanna play the game right now anyways. So I don't know, I, maybe we should just go to the store real quick and get the, uh, like expand our boxes more. I mean, I think it slowly gets more expensive well, like I don't really need too many more Pokemon boxes, but I could always use more of these. They're only 50 each right now, which I mean, 50 each is a lot, but when you have this many, I mean, they only expend by 20 each time is the thing, so I'll go ahead and buy one more. I don't think I'll need more than 170, and if so, then I just need to do some major organizing, you know? <laughs> so yeah, awesome stuff. That'll make it so I don't have to organize things for a little while at the least. That'll be great. 
and let's head back in. Okay, so this is, I don't know, I, I'm just so charmed. It just gave me 50 PM tickets for no reason. I was like, yo, you're cool, here's some tickets. I was like, oh, thank you. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go for these guys, all these ponytails. We can take care of like three of them in one hit. Go ahead and use your dig, Eevee. You did pretty good there, I like it, good job. I mean, here I might have been better to use tackle. Eevee held on for a little bit longer there. I mean, I feel bad because I don't have any power stones on her, but I don't want to have any on her for when she evolves, so it's just better safe than sorry there. Um, but then, yeah, we'll do one where she has nothing but power stones, and then do another one whenever we get a third Eevee that has nothing but health stones, you know, and I think that would be helpful. So, yeah, we'll try to figure that, that out and see what ends up happening. Of course, if you guys have evolved an Eevee before, let me know which one you have. That'd be pretty cool to hear. Wait, which Eevee is your favorite? Because if you don't know, the whole thing we're trying to figure out here is that Eevee evolves into three different Pokemon depending on her stats. She can evolve into, uh, I forget all of their names at the moment. <laughs> But we'll find out as we go along. We'll be able to get one out of those three in today's episode for sure. Maybe even another one, depending on if we can level up that level 90 something Eevee. The problem with that one is that uh, leveling it up normally is just gonna take it forever and a half. And I don't really have too many other Pokemon I wanna dump into it experience wise at the moment. So we'll probably save that one for just another episode um, once we have more disposable Pokemon. But right now, a lot of the Pokemon I have. I want to use for training the current Pokemon I got instead of you know just dumping them into Eevee. If that makes sense? Because there's still a lot of like a lot of the Pokemon I actively use. Like I want to get as many Pokemon as possible to level 100 and make sure that out of my selection available, they're the best Pokemon I can get. Even if I don't plan on using them too much, it's always good because eventually, you know, I didn't know Starmie what apparently is a really good Pokemon. So I want to make sure that you know we have a level 100 Starmie just in case that's going to be helpful for us in the future. Porygon's beating us up pretty decently right now. Come on, let's just go ahead and use uh, his Vine Whip as soon as he's available. There we go, that did some good damage. Come on, get back up, get back up, get back up. Oh, not bad, sort of. I mean, I got rid of one of them. Okay, everybody focus on Porygon, we got it. Yeah, this should be fine. Nice, let's put on a charm, so that, that should hopefully lower your damage or do absolutely nothing. Gotta be careful there. <laughs> Don't want to take it out of team, but we did fine. That was pretty gosh darn easy. So our, it's fun, it's fun when you can storm through a level that used to give me so much of a problem, World 12 one. Used to be super challenging. Okay, so let's see what levels you get to now. 32, still no evolution. I'm gonna guess it's probably like 35 or something. Is it, I mean, that's sort of the thing. Maybe Eevee just won't evolve unless she has like certain conditions met. I'm not really sure, maybe I should look it up real quick. So I didn't look at what you need to evolve into which Eevee, I just simply wanted to see the level and I got excited just that, it's level 36, so we should be able to get that in today's episode. Just keep on doing 12-1 and we should be good. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and put some uh, Aurora Veil on everybody and start beating them all up. Oh, there goes Eevee already, the poor thing. Trying to keep up. Of course, we're gonna need a lot more Eevees. That's sort of the problem is that they're very rare. I mean, out of all the Pokemon I've opened, I've only gotten two Eevees. I made sure not to get rid of them. Um, just because I wanna make sure that we have one of each evolution. Uh, so the two Eevees you, I have right now are all the ones I've ever gotten. And I don't wanna train one into the other one, of course, because I don't know when I'm gonna get another Eevee, you know? So I wanna make sure we have one of each type of Eevee, all three, and then there's an electric, fire, and water, right? I think that's how it is. Vaporeon is one of them, right? I'm pretty sure. And the electric one's Jolteon. I'll remember the names now, look at me. And then there's a uh, Flareon. Oh yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> I think, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, that's pretty cool. I like it, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and do Vine Whip. Boom, got it. And uh, yeah, we're, we're handling this. 12-1 is pretty easy. I don't wanna risk it by going to 12-2, because I just wanna make sure the Eevee's just getting her experience wherever she needs to get it. Go ahead and Vine Whip that. Put on the Aurora Veil. Okay, we're doing pretty decent. Here comes Eevee, ready to help out. Not bad, you did 400 damage, I'm cheering you on. Ah, oh, there she goes. That's okay, she at least got some damage in before too much bad stuff happened. Okay, so, oh no, not the Magikarp boss. Can we survive and do the impossible? This guy's like the strongest boss in the game. Okay, we got rid of some of the Magikarp already, which usually is pretty easy. Come on, come on, come on, ready, set, boom. Okay, they actually landed on the main Magikarp a little bit, which is great. Okay, so we just gotta go ahead and do this. Gotta keep our ears open to try to find out when, uh 
whenever he's gonna start charging up that crazy psychic move he always does. So far, oh, he's about to do it! Okay, he only hit Jinx, and it did not do much damage because of how low of a level he is in this situation. But there we go, we beat him! The impossible Magikarp isn't so impossible when we have this kind of powerful Pokemon. So there we go, very cool stuff. And we get ourselves a fancy looking stone. A lot of this I'm gonna recycle. It's not really up to my standards for this part in the game. It's crazy to think the Venusaur is only level 79. I definitely need to get more Bulbasaurs to just level up train him like crazy, because I, I love him right now. He's so much fun. And he doesn't, like, does he have the third bingo bonus? I don't think he does, but he might. Oh no, he does. So what are his bingo, bingo bonuses? Healing from KO, own knockback resistance. He doesn't really have the best bingo bonuses, but I'm afraid to get anything better because I don't want it to blow up in my face. Um, with that being said, let's just keep going. I think we just need two more levels with Eevee, so if we win this one, hopefully we'll get just that. We might have to do two or three more battles, but it should be definitely worth it. I don't think any of our cooking pots are ready. Actually, I didn't check, so. Oh well, it's fine. But then after these cooking pots, we can go ahead and like we can spend tickets to get more. We could always do that kind of stuff because we're getting 200 tickets a day and I don't have anything else to really spend them on except for box expansions, which I really don't need. I'll probably not even get the box expansions anymore until I like either I, I A, really need them or B, have spent tickets on so many other things I can't find anything else to spend the tickets on and it's just sort of for completion's sake. I feel like at some point I would like to do that. Just to say, you know, like we have more stuff in the game completed. Because I want to complete the Pokédex, I want to do everything else. Because you guys have been heavily supporting the series still. And we're on episode 28, almost 30 episodes, and you guys are enjoying it a ton. So thank you guys so much for that. And I hope you guys are just as excited for uh, Pokémon Let's Go as you are for the episodes of this game. So I'm definitely going to be playing through uh, Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. Still haven't entirely decided. I'm a little on the fence, but I'm thinking Pikachu. I have some cool ideas. So, uh,. Go ahead and try to tackle this guy. That sort of worked. All right, wave cleared. We got a little less than four minutes to take on the Lapras boss. The Lapras boss is usually pretty easy. Even in the higher levels, we, sh we should be able to handle it okay. So let's go ahead and put on the barrier now. And then just all of us versus one boss. I don't think she spawns into any friends or anything. The only major risk is that there is a chance of getting uh, frozen, which is a pain, but really isn't that big of a worry. Like she's almost taken out already. It's so easy. Got it. Oh my gosh, that was crazy easy. I love it. Okay, so hopefully that is up to level 36 for Eevee. Ooh, we get a whack whack. Nice, that's pretty good. We got more materials. Okay, 35, 36, here we go! Okay, what is it gonna be? Eevee will evolve into, drum roll! Oh, it's Jolteon! Awesome! That is so cool! Congratulations, your Eevee evolved into a Jolteon. So, for not having any Power Stones, it looks like we got a Jolteon. Very cool, I am so excited about that. So, that's awesome, that means we have one more Pokemon for the Pokédex. Speaking of which, let's take a look at that then. For right now, the Pokédex, 127 out of 150. So that means that, in total, we only have 23 more Pokemon to go. That is crazy. So where is Eevee in the Pokédex? I think I already passed her. I think, no, no, she was right here. So we got Eevee, Blank, Jolteon, Blank, Porygon, and all these guys. Okay, so exciting. So very exciting. I definitely have to get like more of a comprehensive list of some of the Pokémon I'm missing. Like I know, like some of these I could probably get now if I wanted to, like the Mankey, the, uh, the Clefairy, the Vulpix. Yeah, I could definitely get a couple of these. Because like our first page is completed. If we want to complete our second page, we need the Pidgeotto, and we got it already the mid round earlier in today's episode. Now that's something we can do. So let's try to complete the second page of the Pokédex for the rem the remainder of today's episode. I know exactly how to do that, and that is uh, training some stuff up. So we're getting some we're getting pretty close with some stuff here. I'll probably play as Jolteon a little bit, but I know. The Jolteon's moves don't match what it should be, so we'll have to mix with that a little bit, but I think we can have one heck of an electric type with that. I haven't checked out some of her other stuff, though. I wanted to check out her bingo bonuses. Like, what do you have? We're about to find out. You have attack of normal type moves plus five, electric type damage taken minus 25, attack of electric type moves plus 20. So definitely, I think that we wanna focus on electric type moves. Uh, replaces with something would probably be good and then eventually replace that, but I think it's more important to replace the dig. So we'll have to worry about that soon enough. Not now though, not now. Um, instead, I'm gonna go to training. I wanna figure a couple things out. First off, we had this Nidoran. And we have our original Nidoran somewhere, so I wanna check out how many Nidorans we really have at the moment. 
Uh, none on that page. Not on this page. I think we only have one other knit around, and it was the one we got for our thirty-dollar DLC uh, in the second episode. Yeah, here we go, right here. So only two of them. We have, you know, the one we purchased and the one we just got today. A lot of people say that I should hold on to the things I purchased, but I feel like it's more important to me that we get whatever's gonna work. You know, so you're level one. You have resistance to negative effects minus or plus ten percent. Resistance to poisoned 100% and normal type moves weight minus 20. Not too bad, but at the same time, I don't think it's crazy good. Now let's compare that to the level 90 Nidoran, and let's see what we get. Um, Power Charm, and let's see what moves you have, because like the other one had Sleep, and I had like Bubble, or something, not Bubble, Mud Slap, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you had this weird flatter move, and then you had Focus Energy. The user takes a deep breath and focuses, raising the amount of damage it deals for a while. Very interesting. Uh, normal type moves weight, normal type, oh, it's just all normal type moves weight. Wow, so minus 45%. So like, you wouldn't be waiting very long for focus energy. I feel like that could be good, but I don't know, I don't feel like either of them is like a must have. So the thing is, is that if I were to get the level 90, and put it here and get it leveled up, you we would get one level, which I feel like is a big advantage because I don't get Nidorans very often, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get this guy to level 100, so, well, or this girl, sorry. <laughs> um, so we'll, we, we might as well do this, right? Okay, so you know what, I'm just gonna go for this. I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world. I don't know how much I'll actually play with this Pokemon, but at the least we get a level 91 that'll involve you once, and then you have a second evolution, I'm pretty sure. So Nidoran, you're going to evolve into a Nidorina. Very cool, so I like that a lot. Looks awesome, looks ready to go, congratulations, your Nidoran evolved into a Nidorina. Nice, okay, so if there's anything else I wanna focus on, which there definitely is, it's going to be the Pidgeotto, because that'll finish my second page, which would be really awesome. Pidgeotto is a Pokemon we've had for a good long while now, and I like her, I think she's great, but do we have any kind of extras? I think we do have a couple of extra Pokemon. Um, the first one I see is like the Abra, but I would like to put that on the Alkazam. So we'll have to sort of find a balance. Like the Rhyhorn, what does this Rhyhorn have? Because I don't know if I like Rhyhorn too much as a Pokemon, so I don't really know how much I plan on using it, but he has electric type damage taken minus 10%, own knockback distance minus 50. I don't really know if I like that much at all, so I don't know, we might have to balance that out with the other Rhyhorn. The Rhyhorn, I don't know why I can never pronounce that correctly. Uh, so you're right here, and then you evolve into maybe Rhydon. We'll have to take a look. And I'm just gonna try to find a good balance with everything. Maybe we could get a, a very powerful Pokemon if we evolved you with the Rhydon. So I wanna try that. I wanna try a couple of other things. It'll all be great. So where are you? That's Aerodactyl. Here's Rhydon. Okay, perfect. And we still have two Aerodactyls. They're very low level, so I'll have to remember that part. But beyond that, still two Aerodactyls. I should probably level into each other. So yeah, what do you have? Or is this Rhyhorn? Is this Rhydon? I mean, it's still Rhyhorn. Yep, wrong one. So the Rhydon, I think has better moves because I think we had a previous Rhyhorn that we didn't like so much that was similar to the current Rhyhorn we currently have. <laughs> that was a weird sentence. But you also have Iron Temple, you also have Crunch. I don't really know. Maybe it would be better to keep the lower level one. Because you really don't have anything better. <laughs> you know, if Rhydon doesn't ex or not, doesn't evolve, I was gonna say exist, wrong word. Uh, doesn't evolve any more passes, I feel like we should just leave it. I feel like it's a little bit too much effort for what we're trying to get done here, and we should just focus on leveling up Pidgeotto. The problem is it's not gonna give us too many levels, so it might not even be worth it beyond that. I mean, I know we have the Marowak here. The Marowak could definitely evolve. If we take a look. You're level 83 as it is. What do you have, ground type moves, weight, ground type moves, attack of ground type moves. This is actually a pretty decent combo, and you have a Bow and Meringue, which I like a lot. So I think maybe we could use the Rhydon Rhyhorn with you, and that wouldn't be too bad. I know that I'm getting off topic now, but I remember that like, even if we put Pidgeotto here, it wouldn't be getting too much experience from a ground type. It has to be like the same type for it to really be that much, and if not, it's sort of a kind of waste. So let's go ahead and try to find, well, I was doing Rhyhorn. And that would give you to level 85, so let's try that out. Sorry, Rhyhorn. But uh, I think that's still gonna be good, and that definitely should be an evolution for you. So an evolution is an evolution. No, no it's not. Does Marowak not evolve? Huh, I guess not. <laughs> okay, well, I swear that you did, but maybe you already have evolved, or maybe I'm getting that confused with uh, future generations, probably that one. 
I mean, just have so many Pokemon. I'm just trying to find a good balance for. I guess that was sort of a waste, but that's okay. Hmm. Because, yeah, I just never know what the, the best option is sometimes. I'm always trying to, you know, work through these Pokemon because we have so many of them. It's crazy. Uh, but I don't know for the moment. I think that maybe we should just leave it how it is and uh, go back to training up a little bit. I mean, we could actually switch out now if I wanted to give another honest effort at some other stuff, or at least just try to train for some higher level power stones, that would also be good. Uh, the best way to do that would be to get our good friend back in, uh, Magneton, who should be right here, level 100. Got him there. And that should be pretty good, I think. So let's get back to that. We might have some better power stones though. So since we haven't fiddled with power stones too much today, we're gonna do that now. And I think that we should have a good chunk of stuff that I can try. Like, we have some higher level base damage stones. I really don't know if uh, anybody on our team is looking for that, though. Like, an 894, pretty decent. 920s, nothing there. Actually, I think we're good, then. Unless, like, Venusaur can maybe get, like, a slight damage boost. But I don't even think that that's the case at the moment. Um, 895, we can get you an 896. Uh, a huge jump in the right direction. Uh, and that's about it. All right, well, yeah, these power stones, like, they're powerful, but not compared to what we already have equipped on these characters. And once uh, Venusaur gets some more slots, that'll be great, but we're gonna go ahead and do two more rounds, because then we can get some extra expedition bonus, and we can get three out of the four cooking pots we have available there, and that would be super exciting. So this team should be able to handle 12-8. We've done it before, we can do it again, it should turn out fine. Hopefully. <laughs> but I don't know. Let's put the Roar Bell on right away and just hope everything turns out okay. Man, Jinx moves really quick sometimes. Okay, ready, set, let's do the flash cannon. Oh gosh, why did you get knocked back that way? That was weird. Okay, at least you landed on some of them. I always get so worried though, because it's gonna be so much more difficult. Come on, Vine Whip, Vine Whip. Yeah, at least you fill your health up immediately as soon as you do Vine Whip, as long as it lands. Come on, come on, ready? Got it. Okay, that wasn't a full health refill, but it was still pretty good. I mean, these are tough enemies, because they overwhelm us, and they all just slam down over and over again. We're doing pretty decent. Come on, nice job, nice job. So wave cleared. Let's put that Aurora Veil on. Move this way, wild Pokemon are coming in. I think we're gonna flash counting because they're a little bit farther away so we can land that pretty easily. Nice job, okay, so that got a good couple of them. Come on, come on, they're gonna explode. No, Jinx! I think two of them explode at the same time, which is a really bad combo. Okay, so we got that, that's not too bad. Get him, please. Okay, you sorta got him. These two should be okay, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, dodge that, dodge that, please, thank you. And then grab that move, and then hit the flash cannon. It'll probably be helpful, 12,000. Boom, not bad. Let's do another vine whip, awesome. So wave cleared. So we have a 90 material out of this level so far, and we're only halfway through. We get a lot of stuff. Let's do vine whip, and then we'll do flash cannon. Will that land? Please land, that is just silly. You're being very silly, Magneton. Luckily, it's just one guy, which usually isn't too bad, except for when our most powerful Pokemon gets uh, paralyzed. That's not good. Come on, come on. Flash Cannon. That sort of worked. That one should definitely land, right? Yep, okay. Honestly, it's like, I feel like I wish I had another, like a second Venusaur, just to land more Vine Whips, because it's just so powerful. I feel like if you stacked it up, no! No, Venusaur, I needed you! All right, let's get rid of this dude. Hit him with that, hit him with this, hit him with anything you got. I mean, this isn't turning out perfectly well. I mean, Magneton's pretty resistant to you because of his bingo bonuses. Okay, Venusaur, oh, you missed, you missed, dude. Come on, got him, good job, everybody. So we have two and a half minutes a little bit of, a little bit more than that to take care of this boss, whatever it might be. It's gonna be the Jinx, Mr. Mime. I don't know if this is a fun combo to deal with, but we're gonna try. Uh, so first off, Flash Cannon. Because sometimes we do this one, sometimes we don't. It's uh, it's sort of a mixture of good and bad. Come on, ready, set, got it. I think that hit both of them. That's really what we want for uh, Venusaur and Magneton, is for them to try to have a high chance of hitting both of them. Ow, that hurt. Come on, can you please land this before you get taken down? What is with Venusaur? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Magneton isn't as good as he used to be. These situations just aren't so, aren't so good for him. So we might not actually get this. I want to be able to. We'll have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and do Flash Cannon. Not bad. 
We're gonna land that one. 12,000 damage, like it's great, but it's not good enough. Dodge, can we like reform here? Because our like team formation isn't helping me at all. Got it, it's still not helping me at all. Come on, come on, land flash cannon. And then land, fine whip quickly. There we go, back to full health. We should be able to do this. As long as our teammates stay alive, we should be okay. And that was with uh, uh, Venus didn't have, even have Aurora Veil on him there. Come on, come on, come on. Got it, perfect. So there goes Mr. Mime. Now we're all focusing on just one of them, so it should be pretty easy. There we go, okay. So Vine Whip should be up next. It definitely is, so got it. And there we go, so we beat it. It was a little bit of a struggle, but not impossible for sure. So I'm glad we got that done, and we got a bunch of mushrooms for it. Oh, and a new diamond stone, yeah, it has that expedition bonus. That might be a really, really good one then, depending. So you got half a level there almost, so level 80 coming up. 798, decent little stats there, nothing must have again. We're really looking for 900 plus. I'm looking for our first ever stone that's gonna give me five, or not 500, 1,000 damage or health, because we're getting there, slowly but surely. So I'm gonna try this level again, because this is the only level, 12 8 is the only level we have found shells on, I think. It's just, it's such a pain in the butt, because we, we haven't since, <laughs> and it's like, what the heck. This might be the level where we ran into the, was it Umbreon, the, the fire legendary bird? I'm pretty sure. That was the one that gave us shells. Can we please get them this time? I just need more shells so we can get more legendary Pokemon. That would make me a happy, happy zebra. Vine Whip, the Vine Whip did not land. Okay, that's a little bit problematic. These guys are all over the place at the moment. I might just want to tackle. The tackle got one of them, so actually it didn't. <laughs> Come on, Abra, get out of here. Okay, so tackle ya. You missed your tackle on both of them. There we go, was that so difficult? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this is where we found Umbreon. We'll have to wait and see. I don't wanna get too excited, but I really, really hope so, because that might, might mean that we get more uh, shells. But I don't know what's with running into legendary Pokemon and not getting rainbow shells. I feel like that's like super totally lame. But uh, no! Darn it. Flash cannon. Got it. Okay. Nice, we got rid of one of them. Okay, so we're just focusing on one of them now, which is great. Come on, come on, come on, we can get rid of you. We can do it, we can do it. Finish him off, get your revenge, because I'm pretty sure this is the one that took care of uh, Venusaur, so I'm glad we were able to avenge that situation. So where is the rest of them? We got three minutes left to take out these next two rounds. So first off, Vine Whip this big dude, hit him with the Flash Cannon, hit him with another Flash Cannon. Yeah, okay, hit him with both. When the Flash Cannon works, it works pretty well, it just doesn't happen a ton. Oh gosh, the psychic attack isn't so nice. Oh. Okay, so this guy's almost down. Good job. Now we're just gonna deal with this little dude and then the big dude. Jing seems to be just boxing with him. Come on, come on. What do we gotta do? Get rid of this guy. Flash cannon, I don't care what we gotta do. Can this hit both of them? Or at least that guy? No? Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, so we got the boss fight. A little less than three minutes is plenty. Oh no, 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 no. The last time we got this guy, we couldn't win. He would just heal too much. So unless we can find a new way, I think it's still impossible. What in the world do we even do against this guy except for like happen to have a move you know, that puts him to sleep? Like I don't know. I don't think there's really anything because he'll just heal. But we're just gonna keep trying it. We're gonna keep going over and over again. Try to throw whatever moves we can. I mean, we've got him pretty low. But that's not low enough, because he just starts healing like a madman. Like a total madman back up the full. That's so unfair. Such an unfair move. Well, you can't do nothing about that. Unless you just happen to have a sleep. Come on, hit him with the vine whip. I'm pressing the button and nothing's happening. So I think it's actually on cooldown. It's just lying to me. There it goes. So he's, he's yep, it's just gonna run us out of time. I really don't like this boss. <laughs> it's not a good boss fight because he just sleeps off the, the, the thing, and that ain't cool. Come on, come on, come on. Before he goes back to sleep, can we get him even lower? Probably not, oh man. Even if he was like able to not sleep up the full, that'd be a huge victory for us, because usually we can't do that. <laughs> Plain and simple. Like if we could hit some like lucky criticals all in a row, that'd be amazing, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We're just hitting him over and over again as the time goes down. Oh, that was like the lowest we got him, but still he just heals it back up. Come on, come on. I just can't do it, it's not possible. Jeez, like what can you do? Whole bunch of nothing, that's what. 
Because he just uses sleep and then he restores his health a ton. And he's just like a total tank, so he's just, yeah, it's not possible. It's not possible. You have to be able to, like, put in the sleep, but not the sleep where he heals from, but something that, like, Jigglypuff can do, you know? Which is a total pain in the butt. Because it's like, oh, come on. Oh, wait, is that, did he just up his defense? Or did his, is his defense lowered? Oh, he's actually deciding to attack? Hey, that might be beneficial for us. I mean, it hurt us a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, just keep attacking Jinx. That's sort of better for us. Please land, thank you. Nice, we might actually be able to beat him. He just decided not to do the strategy that was working for him. And maybe he ran out of a, uh, what's it called? Uh, the points that you could only use for abilities that you can run out of, so you can't use the same ability over and over again. I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, there goes Jinx. That's fine, we actually beat him. But I feel like we didn't really beat him, beat him, you know? It's just more that he just decided to change the strategy for no reason when he was already winning. He was his own downfall, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So there we go, we got that one. That's a little bit more experience for Venusaur, and we got ourselves some decent stones there. No shells, though. Absolutely none. So let's try this again. Oh, no, wait, we got our cooking pot, so let's check out these. We have three cooking pots, so at least three Pokemon. Hopefully more than that, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to open them up and see what's inside. We got a Mulligan Stew, which is great. Look at our Mewtwo hanging out there. How cool is he? Ooh, we got another Venonat. Venonats are good. No, that's a Jigglypuff. <laughs> Jigglypuffs are good, too. Uh, what do you have? You have Takedown. Not really too interested in the takedown part. I am very interested in the fact that you're level 98, though. This is a uh, Mulligan Stew. Okay. I mean, I like the Mulligan Stews for the most part. Is that another Jigglypuff? I I'm not even gonna try to guess. <laughs> it is another Jigglypuff. Level 75 this time. You have Mega Punch, which some people are saying Mega Punch is really good. Don't think it really has a good place on Jigglypuff, but we do have, I think, a Kangaskhan that has it that I want to try soon, because you guys were saying that's also good. Maybe we could try that instead of, like, Magneton. And then we got another Aerodactyl, which we have two really low-level Aerodactyls. I'm pretty sure he doesn't evolve, but this one has some interesting moves. First off, you have Fly, flying. You either flies towards enemies far in front of itself, then swoops down to deal damage to them. And then we also have Dragon Claw. The user gathers its strength and charges forward while spinning, damaging enemies with its sharp claws. That sounds so much fun. The problem is that you are all damaged, no health. So I feel like you would definitely have to go over Magneton. But we should try that out, I think. Aerodactyl sounds like fun. Maybe it's like the most powerful Pokemon of all time, and I'm just overlooking it. So we're gonna find out together. I, I definitely have a lot of some uh, materials right now, so if I could just go ahead and just plop on a whole bunch of blues, and then on the next one, plop in a bunch of yellows, like that might be a little bit better. And once again, we have tons of tickets, so we could just go ahead and buy these out right now if we wanted to. Um, and I'm, I'm tempted with 845 tickets and not really too much more to spend them on. Of course, if you saw at the beginning of today's episode, we bought all the decorations in the game at this point. So unless they add more, but we'll have time to add to our collection of tickets, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, those are definitely don't take as long, so I could just spend 40 tickets. I think it's 10 tickets per round. Like this one would be 10. Yeah, so it isn't too bad. What do we got? We got gray porridge for, you know, favored by grayish Pokemon, so that just means Geodude. <laughs> Which isn't too surprising, but hey, here's Geodude. All right, so level 72, not bad. I'll probably just use it for level up training. I don't really even like using my gravel wood too much. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, we, we're gonna go ahead and do all red this time because we have a lot of these little red mushrooms as well. So we'll try this one and see what ends up happening. Got it. Okay. And we'll speed up the both of these. First off, this one. This one's been waiting for a little longer. And then we'll probably not spend any more than that because that'll already be 120 tickets. Just a mulligan. Wasn't that all the blue ones? Oh, hey, look at this. We got another Nidoran. Don't know which one but still very exciting because as you can see, oh nice, so we can level up the Nidorina even more because you're level 88. Oh, that's really good because we can get that third evolution. That's exciting. So we're just gonna go ahead, which one do we have the most of? The blue, that's 959, so just go ahead and stack that stuff in there. See what we end up getting. Got it, got it, and got it. Okay, so got that stuff, and I guess I'll spend the tickets for this one, but then I'm gonna hold on. 
I'm gonna hold on to some of our tickets because we still have 725 of mine now, but we can you know just keep earning it more. It's for reddish Pokemon, which I think that there are out of all the three colors you can choose, you know, like red, yellow, and blue. I think we have more red Pokemon we need to get than any other color, I think. So Voltorb here, nothing too crazy about that. I could use you for our Electrode or something. Um, and then we also have a Krabby, which we could use for our Kingler. Not bad, I'll take it. So let's go ahead and uh, go back into here and fill this up like this with the golden one and then stack in whatever we want. That should be good for that one. Okay, so with all of that being said, Let's try out that Aerodactyl. It looked like a lot of fun and we can level it up even more than what it currently is. So let's put this to new. Uh, the Aerodactyl is right there, so gotcha like that. But I also wanna do some training. I'm curious, so what are your uh, power charms? I mean, I think I wanna keep with you because your moves are spectacular and it would take a lot of effort to get moves like that again. You have resistance to negative effects and resistance to status conditions, which is nice for such a low health character. Keep in mind, they only have one potential health thing. So if they kept at the 557, we did some of these higher level things, it'd be taken out immediately, like one hit takedown. So that's not what we want. Um, but for now, I can go ahead at the least and apply whatever Magneton would normally have to you and see how that ends up going. So like, I can really only do the damage stones, so we need to make sure one of these damage stones has some decent hit healing for you. But that shouldn't be too bad um, because you're going to hit really hard and that's gonna be cool. That has hit healing 2.7, so I'm tempted to snag that one, but if we can just get a damage stone, I mean, we'd be giving up on over 100 points. No, 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 a little under 100 points of health there, so it's not something I want to do if I don't have to. Uh, let's move this way. Healing from KO is all right. That's one we just got. We got this mighty stone. So right there, that's 7,418 damage. We would have to whittle down all the way to what for some hit healing? Oh man, there's like nothing here. That's damage, that has hit healing, that's available. Like we'd have the 2.7, we'd have to take that from the Venusaur. The 799 isn't too atrocious, and it also gives us more resistance, so I think I will take that. We'll just put it over our weakest stoner now, which is the 868. Only about 70 damage, so it's not the end of the world with that either. And we have this Dragon Claw, which is 296. This is 243, so we're definitely gonna use that. I would love to use the Broadstone with it, because it seems like it's probably a pretty thin move. So let's take a look at that. The uh, broadstone's over this way. Um, and then if we could do anything else, it might be ideal to do a lower cooldown. I've, I've, I've just sort of been leaning towards that more and more over time instead of the whack whack. Depending on the situation, sometimes whack whack can be great, but I think for this, it might just be better to have a lower cooldown. And I don't think I can really improve the situation for too many of our other Pokemon. So we're just gonna keep it like that and see how things go. I mean, if there's one last thing I can do, it's gonna be going back and doing some level up training for this Aerodactyl, because we do have those lower level Aerodactyls, we could just filter into him and see if that gets him at least a level up. If he evolves, it'll help him evolve, and that's great. So let's try to find those two guys. Uh, they should be pretty close to one another, yet they're both right here. So first off, let's go ahead and get this guy, and that guy. They're just level 11 and level four, so nothing crazy at all, but it's good. It's still good stuff. Get this Aerodactyl, and boom, bada boom, we got ourselves a level 85. All right, so, got it, and there we go. So no evolution, that's okay, that's what I was expecting. But we you know we got some good stuff. So if there's anything else I wanna do at this moment, I mean, there's a lot I wanna do. I still wanna spend the entire episode in the menu systems, you know? I'm thinking that, where's that Nidorina that we had? Uh, Right here, so we got this next Nidoran, and it didn't seem like it had as good as of moves, so if we take a look. Like the Knit Arena has what? Um, we're about to see. Well, it has the flatter and it has that. What do, what do you have? You have something, all right. <laughs> uh, you just have focus energy, which isn't the best. Normal type moves weight. Like you just have really low, minus 45% for the uh, normal type moves weight. If we could get a really good normal type move on you though, that sounds like it could be good. Compared to this, which you know, it's split two and two. Actually, no, it's a, a one and three, I guess, or a zero, three, in a way. Uh, but you have the same bingo bonuses, you know? Hard to say. I feel like it'd be better just have one super killer move, you know? 
Uh, so we'll try for that. You know, we're gonna keep with the actual lower level Nidoran. Neither of these are shiny. So we're just gonna go for it. It'll get to level 92. The only problem is we won't get the evolution that way. Yeah, we won't. So we'll just try this then. Never mind. <laughs> So we can get the evolution, get you to level 94, which is very powerful. You evolve again into whatever Nidorina evolves into. I forget its name. Uh, it is Nido Queen. Look at that, very cool. So level 94 Nido Queen, I like it. Congratulations, your Nido, Nidorina evolved into a Nido Queen. One more for the Pokedex, thank you very much. And you know what that means, we're gonna keep moving with our current team. 25, 4, 77, there's nothing new but hopefully over time we can improve it. So this might be a better setup. We'll do one round with this and I'll probably be it for today's episode because after that we'll have one more cooking pot. That'll be fun. And yeah, we'll just, I'll keep trying to play between episodes and having a good time with it and see what ends up happening. But 10,000 point deficit, will things work out or not? We'll have to wait and see. <sighs> but it can't be all that worse. Like, I mean, Magneton wasn't bad, but you know what I mean? Okay, so let's just try this Dragon Claw. <laughs> okay, it was like a weird delay with it. I'm not sure how I feel about that, and he's already down. And that's his big downfall, is that he has such little health that he's immediately gonna get taken out in almost every situation else. He had like an insane, like a thousand health stone, or maybe even maybe more. So it's like, that's sort of the problem with those kind of characters. I think his next stone for his level 100 is going to be like a, uh, a what's it called? Um, a, another mixed stone, so if we could get something like that on, we get him another health piece, that'd be nice. Let's do Dragon Claw, real quick. The problem is that rev up, it does 24,000 damage, that's huge. Gargantuan amount of damage. And then if we do this, like that isn't so bad, and it hits multiple targets, that's his fly we just did, which I haven't seen a Pokemon use fly in this game before, so. And when they're not focusing on him, He's gonna destroy 35,000 damage critical there. But then when they all turn his attention to him, that's when things get nasty. So you gotta be careful, but he's holding a lot better. Maybe he just got unlucky at that first part and I was sort of judging him too soon. He has like a 7,500 7, base attack there, which is crazy good. Gotta focus on Venusaur as well. So things are going pretty well now. I mean, this might actually be a good setup. Go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and do Fly, because there's a huge bunch of them that'll get some health back for him, because he has like a 2.7% hit healing, I think. I forget what his uh, bingo bonuses was. Uh, I think they were good for flying type moves, right? So, we'll keep it all in mind. Oh, we got some rainbow, but not shells. I need shells. Okay, so when that, like, I feel like the Dragon Claw is great against bosses, but not a good against um, just like a grouping of enemies when I'm trying to you know get as much effectiveness out. So I think we'll keep doing fly for that. Hit you with that so you'd stop bothering me. But now we have one singular enemy. I should be able to just boom. And that hit okay. He had some like higher defense there. Okay, let's try Dragon Claw again with him just right here in front of him. It's interesting for sure. So he's almost down. Wow, he he takes a beating for sure. I think that's just this guy. Uh, that didn't land. Oh, it's, it's not easy to land. There goes Venusaur too. Bad timing. Bad timing indeed. We gotta go face the boss now. But maybe with this combo, we'll still be able to make things work. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got the Blastoids with all of his little friends. We'll go in and we'll do the fly, and that's not gonna land at all, so cooldowns are gonna be tough. This is bad, this is really bad. Uh, bad timing all around. Boom, at least he can heal himself up decently quickly. Hit him with that, hit him with this, come on, survive, survive, survive. Oh, you missed, you dingus. <laughs> Stop missing. Come on, you gotta do fly, or something that can keep you alive for more than a second. You were about to land the move. Oh, and you missed your vine whip. This is a mess, this is a big old mess. The proper, proper problem. All right, Aurora Veil, Vine Whip, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, that was okay. That landed some damage, but that uh, War Turtle seems to have some uh, good health on him. It's not turning out well so far. Camera's getting confused. Vine Whip, yeah, we got that guy a little bit more. Okay, where's our, boom, hit that. That got you back up to like half health, and you're down again, thanks. Jeez, that's insane. Come on, just get rid of this Blastoise, you can do it. I know you can. Aurora Veil, do the Vine Whip whenever it's available. I hope that landed, oh my gosh, get out of here. <laughs> They're so strong. There we go, it's just us and the boss. He's pretty good at keeping us away with that, whatever that move is. Okay, do this, do fly, please, just land the attack, awesome. So now you're a little bit better on health. This is where we can do some major damage if we can just land Dragon Claw, like, not that, ah, oh, dude. 
That's why I love Vine Whip, it's just so much easier to land. Anyways, come on, can we get the final hit with, no we can't, <laughs> okay, okay. So, Dragon Claw seems to be a fantastic move, but definitely has its weaknesses. Still not finding many things better than Vine Whip, but that's probably what you guys were suggesting with the one move that Starmie has, so I definitely wanna check that out soon. Um, but for now, we get at least another level as Venusaur here, level 80. Now, 20 more to go until he's all maxed out. That's gonna take a lot of work. 955 damage, still not bad. The 747 is okay. We'll take it. So we have one more cooking pot to reap the rewards from. Still no more rainbow shells. But hey, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens, and hopefully we'll have a good time. Uh, and then we'll fill this up, and we'll be all done for today's episode. I feel like we did pretty well overall. We got them all again, so it can be just about anything except for a legendary Pokemon. And it's another uh, snail. <laughs> it's an Omastar, or the thing that evolves into an Omastar, an Oma Knight. Very cool, so we'll probably just use you for that Omastar. But another Pokemon to hold on to and to use for leveling up purposes. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade this to gold. Oh, went one too far. Auto set, auto set again. Got it, yep. Very good. So with that being said, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Quest. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Jolteon Zebra, so now you've watched the end of the URA Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.